going to be um, how do we integrate controls controllers like the buttons I have here and the really great 124 key uh, X keys with the T bar and everything. How do we integrate it with the TriCaster? How do we integrate it with VMix? How do we integrate it with Wirecast, OBS, and XSplit? And if we can talk about all of that today, Dan, we will cover. I'm going to say 98%. Well, actually, live stream is a completely different beast that I don't get into deal with. So let's say at least 80% of the software out there for live streaming. Yeah. Well, essentially, there are two ways that this can be done, Paul. Uh, Martin Sinclair at vMix did a full integration, so that's the tightest possible way, and he made it really easy to assign our keys to any function in vMix. Yes. Uh, the, and then right next to him is what Andrew Cross did for us with NewTek. Uh, they have a very similar integration. It's not quite as slick as the vMix integration, but all the capability of any one of our keys is right there. Now, when you get outside of that, we get into these hardwares that aren't looking for X keys and they don't really know what to do with them. So we have an option where we can look exactly like a USB keyboard. And so you can program anything on the X keys to send a series of keystrokes. Then you use that series, you assign a function to it in the software in Wirecast or OBS or XSplit. Uh, you assign a hotkey to the function you want to control. So there's an additional step to it, a couple additional, additional steps, but it's definitely possible. Okay, and just to kind of drive this this point home, I've got a video got here, OBS here, really quickly. Uh, there's OBS, and I want to say OBS is the most commonly used live streaming software on the face of the earth. Why? Because it's free open source. <laughs> Everybody has tried it or played with it. I mean, there's a million gamers who use it. Okay. So just to drive home how this will work with anything, this is OBS. And I'm going to, using the, the keyboard controller there, OBS and XSplit and Wirecast all have something called hotkeys that they support. I'm going to get rid of this just a little bit here. So there's the hotkeys. And then macro works. Is that what you're talking about, Dan? Basically macro works mimics the yeah. USB keyboard. Yes, uh, and we have a couple ways of doing that. The most, oh, sorry, I cut you off there, Paul. No, the, most, the most reliable is what we call our hardware mode, where you write those keystrokes into the memory on the X keys. And then you get macro works completely out of the picture. The X keys is sending keystrokes to your computer and it doesn't know that you're not just pounding on the keyboard. Does that all make sense? Makes sense to me. Um, I'll show one more video here of the of XSplit. XSplit's not quite as popular as OBS, but they, it's still pretty big. Again, hotkeys built right into the platform. Um, you just assign the hotkeys and use XKeys macro works in order to basically mimic the use of a USB keyboard. And then you get the ability to click a button, Something there happens. There's the light bulb. A um, lot of different ways to use these products. The T-Bar is a great little way. And um, I just want to read. So so one of the questions we had um, in our chat room earlier, and we're going to definitely do a Q&A here, everyone. So we will be watching the chat, um, is how to integrate it with the TriCaster. And TriCaster, I'm just going to read this from a blog post that TriCaster had here. Um, have been programmed to work with the TriCaster using keystroke codes and combinations. You must have the TriCaster Advanced Edition to see X keys as a unique human HID, human interface device, and map functions and controls to keys without using keystrokes. Only the keys are supported at this time. Other hardware controls uh, that may be built into the units are not included in this integration. So meaning I don't believe that the T-bar works. That's correct. And it, will, it also will not work on uh, Wirecast, uh, OBS, or XSplit because they have no way to read a value out of a T-bar or an, an analog control like that. There's That goes back to our question of, you know, what do you want? <laughs> do you want analog controls or do you want buttons with hotkeys and automation? Very cool stuff. And um, I think I messed up your... Uh, here let me just move this 
Oh no, what'd you do? There we go. I, I put a title over something that, that froze you. I apologize. A little bit scatterbrained today, but hey, we're still, we're still alive. We're still kicking. Um, okay, so we talked about TriCaster integration. We talked about OBS integration. We talked about XSplit integration. Wirecast is the same thing. They have global hotkeys. We map them through macro works. Now, finally, let's show the vMix integration, which truly is the most powerful integration. Eh, yeah, I mean, it's the most powerful. It's the most easy. You go in here, you hit shortcuts, you hit add, and vMix will actually, if you hit the find button there, will literally find the key as soon as you press it, and then you can map it to the function you want. And that is just so intuitive. Like, that's what I wanted in Wirecast. That's, Wirecast is a very strange integration. Uh, yeah. I've never even seen the TriCaster one, but that just makes so much sense. Press the key. Tell vMix what you want it to do when you press the key. I mean, it just makes so much sense. It's such a nice, solid integration. And then to top it off, Martin went back and added the activators so mm -hmm. that you can trigger our backlights. So you can there's the something I haven't key. done yet. Yeah. yeah, you can you can trigger the backlights on under every key. So you can indicate which input is active. Uh, you know, if you've got your fade to black key down, you can indicate that that's working or, you know, streaming, recording, all those. And it's assigns basically the same way that you just showed with the keyboard shortcuts. You pick the key uh, or the backlight you want to control, you hit it, you find it, and you assign it to a function in vMix. Very I feel nice. like that deserves a little good idea light bulb, <laughs> right? I mean, it's just, it, this, sometimes it is really the little things that, uh, that I care about the most, and it's just so darn easy to work. Well, we were talking before the show about how Martin Sinclair, I'm sure he could see what hoops everybody was jumping through to try to get the correct audio feedback to a caller, like I'm doing with you right now. And he just said, I'll fix it. Yeah. And, you know, that shows how innovative vMix is and how they, they stay on top of their game. And I think that's what's going to keep pushing them up the charts. How's our um, poll going? It looks like the Facebook reactions are getting a little closer now. Whoa. Nine to you 10, see that? I guess. Nine to 10. I can't believe it. So it, it's really a, uh, it, it's one of those things. I mean, if the software is really that great, sure. Maybe we will just go all software. I don't know. Well, that's it for our Facebook Live reactions. I just wanted to, to peek back to it. So it really is a split. And I, I'm glad you guys are willing to kind of to, to kind of confront that question. The next um, thing I wanted to show was our booths at NAB. And I wanted to ask you a little bit about NAB. What can we expect from X Keys at the National Association for Broadcasters show in Vegas coming up in April? Well, we got a huge surprise this last NAB because we had not even, to be honest with you, we had not even heard of eMix. And we ended up right across the aisle from them and found out that Martin had integrated the X keys into it. And at the same time we were launching this 124 T bar, we handed it to those guys. They just loved it. They did a terrific integration on it. Uh, what we've done is to try to support their users. We've come up with a set of keys because as you know when you got yours paul it's just populated with the relegendable keys it's you can do anything you want with it mm -hmm. but we thought again a pain point of trying to get some sort of switcher configuration started let's couple a set of pre-printed keys with this so you mm -hmm. can lay out some inputs and you know preview bank program bank uh, overlay bank kind of like you're used to in a conventional switcher if yeah. you want, that's a good starting point. And then you can still configure the other keys to do anything you want. Very so, so cool. That, that'll be our, our biggest thing at NAB this year, I'm sure. Gotcha. Okay, and I was just showing the NAB um, map there. I'm gonna show that one more time. So I can't zoom, oh, well, maybe I can zoom in. Let's see. There's the zoom in button. Um, so yeah. here is, the vmix booth i don't know how they got such a good booth oh wait is that it no it's it's here no, no. here's the there vmix booth so yep. right next to new tech and new tech also has a new tech ndi um integration section there 
Just a little bit down the road here is the PI engineering booth. You're right. Bottom of the steps. Take a right. Not South a bad Hall. booth space. Is that a 30 by 10? It's a 10 by 30, but we're sharing part of it with uh, another company from Michigan here. Uh, high resolution engineering has uh, been kind of partnering with us on a few things. So, cool. so we're that's a nice space. big booth. We actually moved backwards. Uh, what? I don't know how that happened. We're all the way back here. At least we're in the same hall. And what can we expect from PTZ Optics at NAB? Yeah. Well, um, oh my gosh. I, I, let me see if I can Come on, find. Come on, I set you up. There's the softball. Yeah. Well, first of all, yeah, that was a softball. Thank you. Um, I guess I was going to pull up like a picture or a video from last year, but we actually split it up into four quadrants. Okay. So the back quadrant is the vMix booth, vMix quadrant. So we show vMix off. I'm going to have an X keys controller. I'm going to bring this cool. and I'm going to be showing how all that works. I have two, two monitors and I'm also going to have, we're going to have a whole network. So we're going to have over 20 live streaming cameras all connected. Okay. Wow. I'd like to possibly talk to vMix and new tech. We did this last trade show where we actually connected our booths via the network. You can pay to have a local area network connecting multiple booths together. Wow. And so all of our cameras are available to new tech. All of new tech's cameras were available to us over the NDI. I'm like, I can't promise that. I haven't talked to them about that, but that <laughs> we did that at Infocom and it was really cool. 25 live streaming cameras. We have a vMix area. We have a new tech area and we have a wirecast area. Then on the front, we're going to have our new auto tracking camera, uh, which I'm really excited about. And um, there's a green screen area as well. So it's, it's a fun spot. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I would, and we'll be showing off the X keys. So that'll be great. If you need any cameras for your booth, just let me know. Um, right. So now it's time to talk about the giveaway, I believe. Um, because we are really, really close to giving away the right X keys. Here. So ptzoptics.com slash X keys. If you haven't signed up yet, you yeah, have please. about, oh, end the more effing keys. We have, let's see how much time this says. 94 seconds left. There's 285 entries. Um, if you guys are out there, we really uh, think that this is going to be a great way for you to learn how to start upping your live production and streaming game. Um, 24 keys. And the thing I didn't get to ask you, Dan, and we, we, we hopefully we'll get to this after the giveaway, is uh, I want to know about some really interesting implementations of your hardware beyond the live streaming industry. Oh, yeah. I mean, since we control anything on a computer, we basically control anything. And there have been some real interesting things that have popped up over the years. Yeah, because I was watching, uh, I was just Googling you a little bit, and I was watching and learning about how people were using it with Photoshop, with After Effects, and I'm thinking about this, and I'm like, you know, all those keystrokes that you just don't, you can't stand making, like Control, Shift, Alt, and you to do this one thing, and you have to do, click all these buttons, and just automating it with a single button just seems so amazing. It was originally designed to help CAD users. And, you know, because they have a ton of tools and, and uh, views and things like that. And it's great for that. But, yeah, it's, it's found application and in some incredible things. Wow. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but when The Simpsons did that live episode earlier this year, uh, that was, I'm sorry, that was last year. We're into 2017 already. Um, there was an X keys behind Homer. Really? Doing his little gestures. Yeah. Yeah. How did, how is that? <laughs> There's a story. Uh, well, uh, there, that sounds like a story we should be telling. Let's, let's go ahead and announce the winner here. This is how we've been doing it lately. And I do believe it's the right way. So one prize left, 183 entries. We hit draw winner. You have to be in the live chat. You have to tell us that you're here. George Washington. George Washington. Father, our nation. Our nation. Our nation's founder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlay our little comments section so I can see this. And there should be, oh, darn it, that's not going to work. Uh, <laughs> never mind. So is George Washington there? I have to keep my eye on the chat room. And hopefully he's here and we're good to go. George, are you here? 
Um, da -da -da -da. You got to be here, George, to in order to win, or else we will pick a new winner. Um, give you a couple more seconds to check. And uh, otherwise, we will just go ahead and call the next winner. Um, I hope this doesn't take that long, because I always uh, end up... Is George, yeah, George, if you're here... Then they don't show up to watch the stream, so it's kind of... Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's fair. It's just I feel, I feel bad, because I actually know George. But oh. George, I'm sorry. I don't see you in here. We're going to have to call the next winner. Okay, repick win. And George can come back as long as the other guy doesn't. So, Vadron Papes. Vadron Papes, are you here? <gasps> He's here! Okay. Vadron, you have won. Vadron's here. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. That is nice and easy, Vadron. We will be contacting you soon. Um, it does say this in the... This will be on its way to you, Vadron. We are very happy... For you to win, Vadron. Okay. Woohoo! So that's done. Um, Dan, we have a couple more. Uh, we have enough time to answer questions, everybody, by the way. And then, Dan, I want to ask you about some of those interesting integrations with XKeys. So feel free to just. What you, oh, I'm guessing, uh, like a musician, okay, so an artist, something like that. This was actually NAB last year that the guy doing the Simpsons show walked into our booth and started looking at stuff and said, I can't tell you what this is about, but it's going to be really big. And can you help me out with this? And we jumped through a bunch of hoops and tried to get him a different solution. And he finally said, you know what, that's just not going to work. I'm going back to your straight X keys to make this work. But then he shared some really nice, you know, comments and, and articles with us and it's in our our uh, utilization pages if you go to our site and look around i sorry i don't have it like handy with me well um, i can uh, i can pull it up that's not a problem the other uh one that comes to mind is about three years ago just before march madness cbs sports brought bought a stack of those red buttons and switch interfaces from us the ones that you like so much yeah i do i love those uh, go up a little bit to the utilization button there. There it is. And um, I just happened to be emailing with uh, the guy, and I said, "Hey, what's you know what's up with the buttons? There, it's animated puppetry. That's the link there." Oh. Cool. Oh. Um, is this it or? So you know, I asked him, "What's up with the the buttons?" And oh, I, did you find a buggy link on our site? It's okay. Okay, it's it's their uh, animated puppetry. I'll we'll get on get that get that link fixed. But anyway, I, the CBS Sports guys, what's up with these big red buttons? Mm -hmm. And he said we have an issue with our instant replay system where it keeps crashing, and I don't have time to fix it. So I'm programming your switch interface with Control Alt Delete and putting this big red button in front of the producer. And when the thing crashes, he can just smash this button and reboot the system. <laughs> <laughs> now, so this is this button here. Yeah, yeah, that button right there. Oh so, my gosh, so this is- Kind of threw his hands oh. up and said- Good idea. Instead of asking the guy to hit control out delete, I'm gonna let him beat on this big red button, get his frustration out and reset the system. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. I can't tell you how much I do like these little buttons. And I, I've had like, I kind of like, I've had, like I've been in the industry for like eight, seven or eight years, people I think roughly around that. And you'd be surprised how many times I've been told, can you just put a giant button that just does the thing that this whole expensive system is supposed to do? And yeah. it always like boggled me. I'm like, you don't want to go into the software and just push the button that everyone else does. Like, no, we just want a giant red button. And it's it, it, a lot of people really, they want giant red buttons. So we give them to them or you give them to them. And uh, you can definitely 100% set this to, to start streaming. Yeah. You know, you could have everything set up for the church or for whoever. And you click the button and it starts streaming and recording. That's it. No need to know what's going on. You could remotely control the cameras. And of course, this is more for the people that know what they're doing and yeah, they need access to a bunch of stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you're right. If you're in a church and you have a volunteer that's coming in, you don't have to tell them, you know, hit this key combination on the keyboard or, you know, hit, hit the number seven key. You can just put the button in front of them and say, when things start, hit this and, and we're good to go. And I love the analog cabling that you use there because it's so affordable and easy to extend. That is actually the uh, standard interface for the assistive technology industry. Mm. And so we just follow that. And that's yeah. actually what these buttons are. Uh, they're made by a company called uh, Origin Electronics, I believe, or Origin Engineering. And, uh, and they're made for assistive technology. So they're meant to be beat on, kicked, hit with elbows, whatever. Um, and they work really nice with our devices. Great. So that brings me to my next. So, so we did all, all of the integration stuff. We talked about the TriCaster stuff, which I know a lot of our dealers were interested in. Um, you told us some really cool, interesting facts about people using X keys. Any other extra funny ones you want to throw in there? You know, the Homer Simpson one, it's hard to top that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, that's the top of the cake right there. We did our uh, Facebook reaction. That was very interesting. It was kind of split left and right there. That was uh, interesting. I really thought that people would come down on one side or the other, but it's funny to see the split. The final call is 10-13. Is what I'm seeing. So 10, 10 uh, for software, 13 for hardware. And uh, I'm kind of in agreement there, personally. I think that the, uh, the software is, is good, but the hardware is better. Personally, that's what I think. I don't know. I like to have the hardware things to play with. Um, <laughs> which brings me to keep it simple, stupid. The big red button. How can we make live streaming any easier than a big red button? Is it possible or is that pretty much the pinnacle of easiness? Well, you're not talking about all the setup that goes into making that button <laughs> <laughs> do what it's going to do. But, uh, you know, with vMix, uh, that's about as simple as it gets and as straightforward and intuitive as it gets as far as I can see. But you tell me, uh, you, you're more familiar with all the streaming platforms. Does anybody make it easier? Well, um, I mean, I don't, I mean, I have this whole thing about ease of use and, and advanced features. So the more advanced the platform is, usually the harder it is to use. Yes. And I think that's true with the TriCaster. I think to a certain extent, that's true with vMix and Wirecast. And then like OBS, which is the free open broadcast software. Sure, it can't do a heck of a lot, but it's pretty freaking easy to use if you just need like a camera and a microphone. Like you're okay. gonna hit a fe you're gonna hit a feature limit where you're like I need more because I want this to do a heck of a lot more. But um, the more features they add, I feel like the harder it gets to use. It's always tough when you're designing a product, whether it's software or hardware, or in our case, you know, we have to make the software that you use to program the hardware. It's always tough to balance that ease of use with flexibility. So with that being said, the last uh, bit here is questions from the audience. And I, uh, this is one of the things I'm not the best about with, with uh, Facebook because the comments are difficult to reach through. I am seeing 31 comments, but I'm not sure how to reach them all. One of them I'm seeing here is Michael Burgess is asking, can the X keys be used for IP, IP camera presets? IP camera presets. Um, with the use of vMix, it would be possible to um, control a PTZ Optics camera over the IP. Um, yes. PTZ Optics cameras work with X with with vMix. Also, Sony and Panasonic do. Um, so, if you're using the Visca protocol, it uh, Visca over IP is what it's called. Um, vMix will will read it and use it. So. Yes, in a with in conjunction with vMix. I other than that, yeah, you and I have both done that, and we've set up a preset uh, position on your PTC camera to hit and go to, and vMix mm -hmm. does a nice job at that. Yeah, and, and also the TriCaster. Now that I think about it, um, because the TriCaster also offers and video links here. He's a uh, TriCaster dealer. Maybe he can chime in. But I do know that. The TriCaster has camera control as well, 
And if this is be, if the buttons, so basically what that that press release that I saw from New Tech is basically telling me is that the buttons work, the T bar doesn't because they've got their own T bar is what I'm right. guessing. Um, and with that being said, the buttons can control any macro in the TriCaster, and the TriCaster can control cameras, so it's kind of the same thing. Although PTZ Optics cameras can only be controlled over the network with vMix. There is no other platform that supports IP control other than like our own open source control software. So that's pretty much it. Uh, Dan, thanks so much for being here. I apologize for you. You noticed that like titles weren't even done when I was la get, getting launched. It, I, I guess I got set up a little... A little slow. Facebook is always a curveball for me. You know, YouTube Live, I'm much stronger streaming there. I've done hundreds of streams there. This is like my third Facebook Live stream. So I was getting the inter integration with the Facebook Live reactions all set up. And the, hey, for I, a rookie, you did great then. <laughs> Thanks for having me on, Paul. It was fun. I appreciate it. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for the giveaway, Dan. Um, I will send you his email. And... Uh, it, he, as long as he's in the USA, I'm guessing you can ship it to him. Oh, yeah. All right. And I guess I'll see you at NAB. Um, we'll have, I'm going to bring this in my suitcase with me and be showing it off. So I'm really excited about it. Great. Take care, Dan. Thanks a lot, Paul. And that's all, folks. Tune in next Friday on YouTube. And don't miss our new Facebook Live show, airing at the same time on Mondays. Have you joined our new Facebook user group? Stick around for a brief Q&A session where we answer your questions live.